everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome, my name is Zoe, but most people know me on here on Instagram as ZA Reptiles, and today we're going to start the long-awaited for enclosure upgrade videos. These were supposed to come out pre-herpmas, so that I could start herpmas with a room tour, as you guys all know, these enclosures came very late, and so we decided we're just going to make it a new year room tour. So once these three enclosure upgrade videos are out, you guys will be finally getting a room tour. So we're starting with Calypso. For those of you that are new, Calypso is my Colombian rainbow boa. Here is a picture of her the day that I got her. I got her for myself for my birthday, July 2019. So we've been together a little while now. And here's our first picture together after she was cleared from quarantine. So love her to death. I love rainbow boas. And I just really love Colombians because they're so underrated they're just so beautiful but so underrated and not popular enough so i love calypso to death so in this video we're going to be putting together her new 4x2x18 by by enclosure she's popped around a couple different um you know tub enclosures when i started i had her in a tub enclosure and then early 2020 I upgraded her to a front opening bin enclosure. You guys love those enclosures. They're very nifty, very fun. But now she's in a four foot long by two foot deep enclosure. I'm so excited that she can finally just really stretch out and explore. And she's got UVB and she's got halogens for heat. So overhead heating, very natural. I'm very excited to show this to you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into it. But first, side note, this video is going to be all over the place because I'm trying to get these done for Christmas. So I didn't really sit and just record everything and talk you through everything. I took video clips here and there that I just threw together. So I'll be doing voiceovers during some of it to again kind of explain what's going on. So this is her background. It's a rock background from Custom Reptile Habitats. I love getting backgrounds from them. It makes it's just a super easy way to have a natural looking background. They're very easy to install, so I love them. I have a affiliate link in the description below so if you guys would like to check them out. I do make a small commission when you purchase through that link. But anyway, I did buy this background with my own money, you know, fully purchased. They didn't send it to me, but I love it. But you know, you can see I'm struggling a little bit. Um, I gave them the dimensions of the enclosures without having the enclosures, so we did have to trim it down um, in order to get it to fit. But anyway, it's one of their new three-sided backgrounds. They did say I was one of the first people to actually have this background to try. You know, they cut it down to the size I needed, so it is custom. Of course, I had to trim it more. But this is what it looks like once it's all siliconed into place. I'm obsessed. And they are a tropical species, so the vision was moss in all the rocky crevices, and I love how it turned out. And then I just covered that spray foam with dry lock to match the background. You guys, I just installed the bulb guards, which means the snakes finally get to go in today. I'm so excited. So here's Calypso's. I did two for her where Phoenix has one. So there's her bulb guards. Let's go get her. So yeah, here we go. Thank you. 
all right so here's a little overview now that the enclosure is all done this is what it looks like so substrate actually let's start with the enclosure so enclosure is from predators and prey um i did a review video of that company so you can check that out but it is a but it is a four foot by two foot by 18 that's what it is so four by two by 18 so the height of a 40 gallon breeder exoterra but four foot long two foot deep so nice and big um she can pretty much stretch out along the whole thing which is what i want for my stakes i want them to be able to stretch out no problem so you can kind of see her right here she's buried but substrate is ripped a chip um, a bag of topsoil, moss, and leaf litter, and a little bit of placement. Uh, we've got some live plants. I don't know plant names very well. I can tell you that's a pothos. That little half-dead one back there is a Dracinia, or Dracaena, however you want to say it. I say Dracinia. Um, it was in her old enclosure and got trampled. So we're seeing if it comes back to life. But in the meantime, I put this one in front of it because it's a little more lively, looks a little better. Um, we've got a hide back here. Looks like tree stump, so I really like it. Um, like I said, pothos, another Dracinia there in the back. See if you guys can see that. There it is. Um, this ginormous water dish is actually a planter from TJ Maxx. I thought it was cool because it's like that gray, gray stone, so it matches her background really well. Her background is from Custom Reptile Habitats. I love, love, love Custom Reptile Habitats. You can take a peek in there. You can see that nice, that nice stonework. And then because it's a tropical snake or tropical enclosure, I silicone this green moss along some like the cracks and in the crevices to kind of create a natural jungly look so i love how it came out and then i siliconed this uh, branch in the back over here or spray foamed it i guess so you can kind of see up here i spray foamed it coated it in dry luck to match the background as a way to hold up her little globe over here so actually i have to move the stick back that's not where it's supposed to go this little globe thing back here is like my favorite thing in the entire world. This is just another fun little hide for her, but it's got holes all on the sides. So it's like a fun little enrichment toy, but it still looks natural, so I really love it. So that's propped up on this stick over here, so that it's actually above the ground. Um, kind of like in the air a little bit, so you can see it's touching the ceiling. we got another little cave hide over here, but she actually likes to hide under um, instead of inside. we got another plant here. Um, her vines. I did put a fogging thingy just from Amazon in her water dish. So you can see it's just this little tiny machine. And you put it back in, it creates all that mess. So super cool. And she does have isopods and spring kills in here as well to make it more of a bioactive setup. So the isopods, I believe, let's see, there's Giant Canyon and Dairy Cow. They were in her old enclosure. They did really well in there. So I sat there and picked them all out and put them in here. So she has two halogens, GU10, for her heating. So I'm switching all my animals over to halogen because it's the best form of heating you can give your reptile. And a UVB. So I'm very excited to see how she ends up reacting to this UVB um, and how it changes kind of how she goes about life. So, very exciting. So, that is my new Colombian rainbow boa enclosure. So, I'm thinking about maybe getting a light to put up on this side because it is a little darker. But, it's probably a nice escape from all the light. I don't know. It doesn't bother me too much. So, yeah. That's the enclosure. So, that is it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see Phoenix and the Fat Tails upgrades next before the room tour. Alright guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Bye!